Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This is my update video of how I've been doing. Uh, I told you guys last time that I started a new protocol of TMS, so I wanna talk to you guys a little bit about that. And I, was, I wanna talk to you about uh, how I've been doing with this uh, new protocol. So before I was getting this protocol uh, where I was stimulating my right ventrolateral prefrontal cortex, which is around here on my head, uh, one time per second. And uh, I was getting this uh, stimulation one time per second for 40 minutes, but now I'm getting uh, 15 stimulations per second, still on the right ventral lateral prefrontal cortex, uh, but I'm getting 15 stimulations per second, like I said, and the whole treatment lasts only 40 seconds, so it's a lot quicker. I'm getting a lot more pulses per second, and uh, this new protocol is called Theta Burst Stimulation, and it's a pretty new uh, TMS protocol, but it seems to be uh, more effective than conventional TMS, and they think it might be because it mimics how the neurons in our brain actually communicate um, and I have been feeling better with this new treatment protocol, so I'll talk to you guys a little bit about that. Uh, but first, I want you to guys, I want you guys to uh, take a look uh, at what this uh, theta burst stimulation is like. So I prepared a little video for you guys. So uh, take a look, and I'll catch you guys soon when the video is over. Okay? It's called theta burst magnetic stimulation, delivering magnetic pulses into parts of the brain linked with depression. Shortly after starting a four-week study, Gail was driving home when she suddenly noticed it was taking effect. It was so unnerving at first. At first it was like, wow, I mean, is this what it, is this what it feels like to be normal? It's a more powerful version of an older form of transcranial stimulation, but where that treatment takes 40 minutes a day, theta burst takes just three. And doctors think it works faster because it delivers the same frequency used by brain cells to communicate with each other. Hey, welcome back. So as you guys saw, this uh, theta burst stimulation is a more modern uh, TMS treatment and uh, it consists of much more rapid pulses uh, of uh, stimulations to your brain. And it might be more effective for a lot of people because it actually mimics how your neurons in the brain actually talk. And um, it sounds crazy, 15 stimulations per second. Um, you guys might be wondering what, it, what that actually looks like in practice. So I have another video for you guys today. So, um, I will have you guys take a look at this video if you're curious to see what uh, this uh, theta burst stimulation looks like. And I'll see you guys in just a couple of seconds, all right? All right, welcome back again. So that was how uh, theta burst stimulation looks like. It's pretty crazy. It's a lot more intense than conventional TMS, um, but it's a lot quicker. So I actually find that this uh, theta burst stimulation is uh, a more pleasant experience overall. Um, then with uh, conventional uh, TMS treatment because you only have to you only have to be sitting there for 40 seconds you know instead of the 40 seconds of the conventional TMS and to be honest guys like if something works better to treat my depersonalization I'm willing to do it man like I'm willing to have my ears cut off I told my uh, psychiatrist uh, when he was worried about this treatment being uncomfortable and I'm sure for you guys it's pretty similar this DPD is just something you know you want to get rid of it you're willing to make some sacrifices and so it's not something i'm bothered about that it's a little bit uncomfortable or that or that it's a little bit intense uh, when getting treated so uh how has this new uh theta burst stimulation uh been helping me or how how, how do i feel uh, after switching to this uh, theta burst stimulation so last time i said uh that i might have been feeling more emotional that my emotional experience in life has been a little bit enriched uh, enriched by this uh, conventional TMS protocol but now after switching to the theta burst stimulation I can say for sure that my experience my emotional experience of life is enriched um, for example I was listening to some emotional music uh, some sad music after uh, receiving uh, some treatment with uh, this uh, theta burst stimulation and I found myself crying I, I listened to this music and I'm someone who doesn't cry that much or at all actually and you guys might be similar, uh, you guys suffering from uh, depersonalization disorder because our emotions tend to be dampened uh, with this disorder. And for me, like I haven't cried in months, right? And before that, I hadn't cried in maybe 10 years or so. I, I had something happen to me last summer, uh, which made me cry. But after that, nothing, you know, I didn't have a, I, I didn't cry at all. I didn't feel like, you know, the emotions uh, necessary to be able to cry. But um, after receiving this uh, theta burst stimulation, I found myself crying just by listening to this music. 
And so that was very surprising and it showed me that something was happening as a result of this theta burst stimulation. Um, another thing that I feel uh, since getting this theta burst stimulation is that I'm enjoying the company of people more. And uh, I feel much more happy talking to people and I feel like I can connect to people better. Um, so that's been a very positive experience for me. Um, but also this comes with uh, new feelings of loneliness. So before receiving theta burst stimulation, I could go like long stretches of time just being by myself without feeling lonely at all, without even thinking about other people. But uh, now I find myself being lonely on the weekends when I don't have people to hang out with. Like yesterday, I checked out a new city in, my, uh, in, uh, this, in the country where I'm living at, Switzerland. And uh, it was so gorgeous, but um, I couldn't help but notice this loneliness I was feeling um, of not being able to share this uh, great experience with someone else. So I've also been feeling uh, loneliness just by you know, spending time with myself. And uh, this is something that has happened after I started receiving the Theta Burst uh, uh, stimulation. Another thing that has changed for me after receiving this Theta Burst stimulation is I feel more energetic throughout the day. Um, and I find it easier to wake up in the mornings as well. And in my supplements video, I talked about how with depersonalization disorder, we don't get the proper uh, bump of cortisol. Our sympathetic nervous system is dampened down a little bit. So, we, uh, so it's hard for us to wake up and we feel more groggy uh, during the day as well. But um, since getting this uh, theta burst stimulation, I don't feel as groggy during the day. And I find it a lot easier for me to wake up in the morning. And uh, this makes sense because we're actually uh, strengthening the activity of the amygdala through dampening the right ventral lateral prefrontal cortex. So this experience that I'm feeling where I'm more energetic throughout the day and, I, and me finding it easier to wake up is actually in line with uh, what I expected to feel um, kind of uh, down regulating the activity of my right ventral lateral prefrontal cortex. So that's something that is very uh, awesome for me to notice and uh, it's, it's encouraging uh, that uh, this new treatment protocol is actually targeting what it needs to target um, and that it's actually helping me with my depersonalization disorder. Um, so I have been receiving this uh, theta burst stimulation for two weeks now and um, actually starting tomorrow I will start uh, this theta burst stimulation on a new area of the brain. I will start it on the temporal parietal junction and uh, like I said in the previous video, this area is very important in the integration of senses. And uh, we're actually gonna start treating this area because even though I feel, you know, my emotional experience of life is richer and uh, it's encouraging that, you know, this uh, treatment um, to my right ventral lateral pre prefrontal cortex is working, I still feel like the world looks flat um, and I still feel like there is a pane of glass in front of my eyes. So uh, I'm gonna, I'm, so we're hoping to target this symptom that I'm experiencing that the world is flat through targeting the right temporal parietal junction which is an area uh, important in the integration of senses and um, this area has also been shown to be uh, overactive in depersonalization disorder so by inhibiting it with a theta burst stimulation uh, I might have some really great results so I can't wait to update you guys on how that um, how treating this uh, right TPJ uh, is gonna affect me so keep on the lookout for that video it's gonna come i'm excited myself like to see what kind of changes uh i feel in my symptoms of the world looking flat you know if it does something to that like i'm gonna be so happy because that is you know the biggest struggle for me that's been the biggest struggle for me ever since i've gotten this disorder basically so i'm very very excited to start treating my right tpj and uh, for those of you guys who are curious where the right tpj is it's like somewhere around there you know it's a little bit more behind the right ventral lateral prefrontal cortex but anyway i'm gonna start getting this uh, treatment there and i'll update you guys on how how i start to feel i will also be coming out with a video about some of the common misconceptions people have um, about uh, depersonalization disorder there's many out there um, and uh, there's a lot of them who uh, that can cause us to start worrying that we're going crazy or we're going to lose our mind for example so I want to tackle some of those uh, common misconceptions for you guys. Uh, so also keep on the lookout for that. And uh, thanks for tuning in again. I really appreciate you guys tuning in and leaving comments and whatnot. It makes me so happy. And uh, it's definitely encouraging to know that I'm helping some of you guys out there uh, who are also in the same boat as me. So thank you so much for that. And I'll see you guys again soon.